Paul, uh, first off, uh, what's the uh, atmosphere been like in training this week? Is it uh, more determination than anything to get things right this Friday? Yeah, it's been good. You know, you can't can't sit and dwell on the past and be doom and gloom. Um, guys are excited about the challenge about Friday night and having the opportunity to to put what um, what went wrong at the weekend and put it right. And we've only got to wait five days to do it. So guys are keen as mustard to to get out there and play. What's been the biggest thing to work on this week in training? Do you think? Um, probably just. You know, little little things in our defensive line, maybe, maybe, and and, and discipline. Um, I think we gave away a couple of cheap penalties at the weekend, and that sort of marched us down the field when we didn't need to. So probably discipline it will be this week because we're playing away from home, and it's always tough when you're the away team to to get everything on side. You played at Edgley Park a few times. How tough a venue is it to play at? Yeah, it's a tough place. Um, it's not as big as it is as Franklin's Gardens out here and, and the crowd are pretty much on top of you. Um, so it can, can be quite a bit of a cauldron if, if they get their uh, heads up. But then again, we can flip it and it can go quite quiet when you're the dominant side. So hopefully we can get a bit of momentum early doors and you know have the ref on our side and, and, and keep their crowd quiet. You know, there's a, a couple of old faces, you know, Steve Diamond's a familiar face around here, Mark Easter obviously, you know, maybe playing on, on, on the weekend. So. Has it always had a little bit of extra spice when you come up against people who you know pretty well? Yeah, especially someone like Mark Easter. I've come through the academy with him and he's an expert dog walker. Um, and <laughs> he took my dog out a few times for me, bless him. But uh, there'll, be, there'll be no friendship, I don't think, on a Friday night between the guys and Mark. I think that, that'll definitely have to wait till, till after the game. And just one final thing just to finish up on. Obviously, the plans were announced this week to, uh, to develop the, the gardens, you know, the finalised plans for in a couple of years' time. You know, as, as a Northampton guy who's come through the ranks, you know, you, you play for local clubs, you've been here at the club, one of the longest current serving <coughs> players at the club. How much uh, does it mean to you to know that there'll be a couple of extra thousand people being able to cheer you on here every week? I think it's fantastic. Um, I think it's brilliant for the town as well. Um, if you think we've got 10% of the population of Northampton coming here every weekend and if there's that much demand for it, then we should increase it even more. And the fact that we're regular, regularly, uh, regular, regular Heineken Cup uh, participants now, um, that can only mean good things if we make the knockout stages. Whereas, you know, Milton Keynes was a fantastic venue um, last season, but obviously we'd have loved to have played here. Milton Keynes did everything they could to make it a home venue, but it's not quite Franklin's Gardens and you know, more bums on seats, more atmosphere. It'd be brilliant.